cool. That's probably a roll whether or not that'll kill. Oh, he switches? Ah, okay, that's kind of throwing a crux in my plan. I'm really scared of this double battle right now, I'm being honest, if I'm honest. Victory Bell. Okay, that's a little scary for Paul. We do have plus... Uh, nice crack. We do have plus one and physically defensive, so even if this thing hits us physically or specially, we should be able to take it. Um, and Glasgow's still on court, so I think I'll just stay in and just double attack the Victory Bell. <laughs> Through puberty, man. Going through puberty at age 30. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna hurt. Don't fucking. Don't crap me. That's a crap. That's a crap. That's a crap. That's a crap. Come on! Are you serious? <sighs> God, dudes. There's. I should have just switched the goop. I was dumb. I don't know why I was so... Fuck's sake. Ow, yeah, I got a, I got a good chunk. Oh, do you know what I could do? Just to play it safely. Although, would it... Mm, would Shadow Sneak kill him from there? I was thinking I could go to boat on the blaze kick here, which wouldn't do too much. And then go to Goop on the fighting move. And then kill it with Shadow Sneak. But I don't know if Shadow Sneak would kill I probably would. I mean, I max attack. I'm a max attack Muck. Oh, Shadow Sneak's pretty weak and doesn't stab, plus he resists it. Hmm. I suppose I could go to Phoebe on the fighting move. And then Phoebe from full health should take our blaze kick. How much did that how much did that blaze kick do? 31, 24. So I did like 55. Two defense. Yeah, even with a crap, we should be. We would be able to love that. Okay, yeah, let me do that. Let me go to boat. Bait the fighting move and then go to. BB. To Colgate. I was like the, the toothpaste. The toothpaste name for Toolkiss. Cool, cool gets one of my one of my favourite ones. You just went why did you go for Blaze Kick again? What the fuck? Hello? Alright, whatever. Oh and you have Night Slash. Oh that might kill me. Don't, 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 don't. Hey crap! Oh of course he I fucking... I, I had a feeling. I had such an odd feeling that there was going to be one of these just random extra rival battles on here. <sighs> okay. When was the last time we fought Dawn? It was outside of Mount Coronet, right before Heart Home Sight, wasn't it? I think. Oh, I guess she would have healed me. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, oh, Veilstorm. Well, we, I guess we see her on Veilstorm, but we have our far there. Yep, okay. Well. We might be losing more Pokemon in this route. Mm. 
starts with an Alkazam, okay. Um, let me find her team in this dock so that I know what I'm up against here. This is a good start though, yeah. We sh mm, I don't know if we have speed, but unless this thing has focus blast, we should be fine to just love a hit and kill it in one shot. And we should have speed because she doesn't have any EVs and snacking is pretty fast. That is all some speed actually. What level was it? 44? Oh wait, are we faster? If this thing doesn't have a speed boosting nature, we're actually one point faster. But if it does have a speed boosting nature, then we are slower. This thing's also fucking life orb. And it doesn't have focus blast, so the strongest thing the strongest move can hit me with it is psychic. So I guess I just have to hope I can live a life orb psychic from this Alkazam. Um and then I can kill it. But what else does she have? She has Mamoswine, Clefable, Lopunny, and then she has one of the evolutions and her starter. Her starter is... What is her? What is, what, who did she start with? I started with Chimchar. So she, she has Torterra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which, wait, which evolution does she have? Does she have the two? I don't remember how many Pokemon she had there. Does she have the two types that she doesn't start with? So will she have like... Flareon and Jolion? Actually she can have any of them because she didn't take the Fire or War starter. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the only thing I can really do here, unfortunately, because I don't have any dark types, uh, is just kind of, I have, the only thing I can really do here is just stay in and hope I'm faster and go for the kill, and if she's faster, hope I just love a hit. I am faster, okay, she must be modest. Thank god, okay, that's a great start for us. How's the run today? Well, we've lost two Pokemon already, and we've just started a very potentially tough rival fight. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Lopunny, who is normal and fighting in this game, has its Mega Evolution typing. Uh, what does it have? This thing's Choice Banded? Fuck me. Strength, Jump Kick, Fire Punch, Ice Punch. Okay, I could... If it's... Okay, if it's Band-Aid, I could bait it into a move and switch to somebody else. What, do I, what, what can I, what's the best thing to bait it into with somebody? I could actually stay in and bait it into Jump Kick and then go to Colgate and then it's stuck Jump Kicking on something that four times resists it. I could even get, a, I could even set up a Nasty Plot maybe. Probably my best bet of dealing with this thing. Yeah. I'll stay in. Stay in, bait the jump kick and go to Colgate. And then this thing will be bandied into it. Nice. I guess the question is do I want to. Nasty Pot? What else does she have? She has Mamoswine, Clefable... Mm. 
I guess the only thing is, if she has, if she does have Jolie on, I wouldn't outspeed that. And if she does have the Jolie, she would go next, so it's maybe not worthwhile. I think I'll just, I'll just Moonblast and keep Colgate healthy. I should just one shot. Oh, nice. I mean, appreciate the miss. But... Two Pokemon down, and we are basically had no damage dealt to us so far. So this is this is going great so far. Mamo Swine. Okay. I guess boats are best bet. It does have Stone Edge, Earthquake Avalanche, Stone Edge, and Ice Shards. I'm faster. I could go to Goop to bait the Earthquake and then go back to Colgate. And if I'm faster, I could encore it into Earthquake. Oh, swine. How fast is it? Let's assume it has a plus speed nature. Level 44 Mammoth Swine with a plus speed nature would be 97. And we're 105. Let me just double check that this fucker hasn't got some like speed boost to his base stat. It doesn't. Okay, so yeah, we should. That, sh that should work then. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's go to Goop. Bait the Earthquake. the earthquake go back and encode it. Which is, I, 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 I want to avoid as much damage as possible. Obviously, because that gives us the best better chance of winning. Nice. See, my encore is so broken. <laughs> it's such a broken move in Nuzlocke. It's so easy to just manipulate the AI and get in these positions where they just can't touch you. It's so good. And the AI is not smart enough in this game to switch out. Or you just stay in. This is going great. That's three Pokemon down, and we have basically took no damage across our entire team, so this is going really well. With Fable coming out. I'm assuming she must not have Jolie on then if she's not going to it now. Uh, Moonblast. Moonblast, Moonblast, Moonlight, Psychic, Thunder Wave. It does have Psychic, but I don't think it would really be doing that much damage. I think I just got a Goop and Gunk Shot this thing. To be honest. That's fine. Don't paralyze. Don't be fully paralyzed, Goop. There you go, and you have the gunk shot. One th good thing I'll say about Goop, he has not missed, or she, she. She has not missed a single gunk shot that we've used, so she's uh, she's really pulling her pulling her weight here. Why are you doing this, Red? You're setting yourself up for f oh, because I'm saying that yeah. Anytime I say something's ask something not to happen, it always happens. Torterra's so kind of an issue. Uh, I kind of wish I had Ice Beam on Quack to deal with this thing. Uh, Woodhammer, Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide. Jesus Christ. Um, 
I guess, yeah. Well, it has Iron Head, yeah, fuck. I guess... I think Bread's probably the best bet here. Just go to Bread, I outspeed it. I should live... I should live an Earthquake or a Wood Hammer. And I should be able to just two-shot it. Don't want to take a Wood Hammer from Boat. Boat's probably slower. Yeah, I think I think best bet here is just Bread. For sure. Although, I guess actually... Hmm. We can't just two hit it though. I'll have to like hit it and then... Do I get a chance to switch on my loafing around turn? I do, right? I can hit it and then if it's wood hammering or earthquaking, I can go to Colgate. And then I can just finish it probably with a Windblast with whatever HP it's at. Yeah. Choice Bandit Body Slam. Big chunk of damage. Ooh. Citrus Berry. Don't like that. Although the recoil damage from Wutama will put him back down. God damn! Okay, yeah, I do get sweat. Okay, he's gonna wood hammer again. Uh, yeah, we'll just go to Colgate. Nice. I think this is our last Pokemon. Although, no, she hasn't used any of the... She hasn't brought any evolution yet. She must have one of them. Porygon? Okay. Let me just go to Quack. And T-Bolt. I mean, that crit probably mattered, but I don't think it would have had anything to really hurt me with, so... Alright, that went really, really well. Thank God. I was really worried about that when she fucking walked up on me. But now we have another big fight coming up. Fucking Cyrus. Who, I have no idea how tough he's gonna be. Let's go. Love this thing. Well, I think we have to really worry about here's this thing flinching me a bunch, but we should tank. Yeah, we tank air slashes all day. Ooh. That's probably a roll whether or not that'll kill. Oh, it switches? Ah, okay, that's kind of throwing. A crux in my plan. Huh. Uh... Yeah, that's an issue.
Fuck, I can't just I can't just switch in Chun Li. Thunderbolt from this. This thing's life orbed. <clears throat> a thunderbolt from this thing is gonna do at least if it's modest life orb, it'll do at least 95%. 60% chance to Oko Chun Li. That's if it's modest though. Well, even if it even if it's not modest, it's still got a 10% chance to Oko. Fuck dude. Okay. Um I don't really know what to do here. This is kind of an issue. Nobody else on my team really has any way of hurting this thing. Fuck me. I mean, Goop should take hits from this thing pretty well. I could maybe just shadow sneak it a few times. And let it dwindle down with life orb. Let me shadow sneak it once just to see how much damage we're doing to each other. Oof, that's like nothing. Yeah, he's just going for thunderbolts. Oh, I had a lot. I did about 70 damage. Okay, let me see. Let me figure out how, how much... Let me figure out if this thing's like modest or not real quick. Did that, I had how much did I have? 122? No, I had 150. Wait, how much did that do? I had 150 something. I think I had 152, right? So that only did 68, so he must he's not I don't think he is modest. He's just gonna T-bolt. Let me let me figure something out. You're gonna take about double the amount of damage. That's gonna be an easy two hit KO in red, I think. I can't risk chunk I might have to like I might have to sack somebody. I could risk going to Chun-Li. I could risk going to Chun-Li. Um, here's the issue. If I go to Chun-Li and he rolls high enough to just one-shot me, one uh, to, to, to just Oko me with Thunderbolt, I don't have anybody else that can take that can deal with this Magda Zone. So 
So, like, try it. Quack has nothing you can hit this thing. It resists all of Quack moves. It resists all of Colgate's moves. It's probably faster than Boat and would one-shot it. And, I mean, Red can hit it with Shadow Claw, but that's not going to do a lot. I mean, it's Choice Bandied from a slacking, but Magnuson's got good bulk. Has Boat? Yeah, Boat's slower. Would Boat live? I guess the question is, who do I want more to be alive, Goop or Chun-Li? There's not even any way for me to, like, bait moves. If I had a ground type, I could just switch out easy. But Thunderbolt's going to hit pretty much everybody really hard. I might have to just let Goop die so we can get Chun-Li in safely to deal with this thing. I don't think there's really anything else I can do. I really wasn't expecting him to just switch out Crobat like that. Fuck, dude. Man, that's really unfortunate, but I think that's really my only option here. Yeah, I have to, I have to let Goop die so Chun-Li can get a safe switch in. I can't, I can't risk it either getting the high enough roll or getting a crit with Thunderbolt and killing me. I can't, I can't risk that. If I was doing... If I was doing more damage with Shadow Sneak... I could, uh... I could maybe cheese the Magnazone down enough and just heal. Because we love two Thunderbolts. With the chip damage from Life Orb and Shadow Sneak, I actually might be able to cheese this. Because I'm allowed three potions. And I don't think I really need to heal for any of the other parts of this fight. I should have I should have gave like Drain Punch or Fire Punch to give or something just in case. I think we actually would I think I actually we actually might win here. This Shadow Sneak plus more Life Orb plus one more Shadow Sneak may actually be enough to kill him. Well, maybe not. If I heal one more time, we can probably take him out. Yeah, I'm just... I feel bad doing us cheese, cheesing this thing down with just healing. But... Fuck you, I've already lost two Pokemon today. <laughs> I feel a wee bit bad about doing that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Crobat again? I don't know why he's going back to Crobat. Unless he's planning on like switching out again. Ah, you have hypnosis. Okay. On, good. Wake up. You're faster than me? I'm Choice Scarfed. How are you faster? Okay, that's a problem. Fuck me, dude. Well, this is my last healing item I can use. I know Crobat's fast, but I'm fucking choice scuffed. That's insane.
I mean, Troy Scarfed. 133 speed I should have for this thing. How fast is Crowbat? Damn. He has speed is 135 without a speed boosting nature. That's insane. Uh, all I can do here is heal, heal Quack and hope I can fucking wake up. I guess I should have stayed in with Muck and healed him. I, I honestly thought I would have outsped him. I thought it was a safer play to just go to Quack and just... Fuck off! Really? I don't know. What am I? What am I gonna do? Like he's just gonna hypnosis everything in my team. And now I have nothing to deal with. And now I have nothing to deal with the Honchkrow. I guess Colgate could deal with the Honchkrow. The only thing I can think to do here is go to boat and just hope he fucking messes hypnosis. Or if he hits it that I wake up and I can just ice beam him. Fuck, that's Crowbat. He's had two, two hypnosis and both Pokemon have slept for like two or three full turns. I think with leftovers, hopefully if he either misses hypnosis or I wake up before he can like whittle me down enough. He has a rehab gnosis in a row. I'm just going to speed this up because this is going to be... Oh, you have Giga Drain. I mean, that's still not doing that much. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me with this? Like, I'm literally going to wipe to a crowbat because it is putting everything to sleep and none of my mons want to wake up. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I mean, at this point, I just have to let Boat die so that I can get somebody else in. I don't even know if I live another Giga Drain. And if I do, I don't know if XP even one shots him at this point because crowbat is pretty bulky. And he gets a crap. This is unfucking believable, dude. Oh, at least they didn't go for hypnosis. I really need I really need body slam to just one shot him here. Or paralyze it. Thank god. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh my... I'm so mad. I'm just gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do for Weavile now. Slacking's low enough HP, he might die from a faint attack or an ice crash.
I mean, if I don't... If bread doesn't just live a hit, then we're probably just going to wipe to this wee vial. Because Quack and Goop are both asleep, both get out of sped. The only chance I would have if Bread dies is if Quack like, wakes up because he will be faster with the Choice Scarf, I think. I think he'll at least outspeed the Weavile. But like, I think Weavile outspeeds Colgate probably. Well actually, let me check. Let me check how fast Weavile is before I do anything. If he has a plus speed nature, which he probably does? I don't know, he might. He might not. 147 with a plus speed nature, 134 without. I mean, even if even without the plus speed nature, 134 is faster than is faster than quite by one point. With the choice scar. So nothing I have outspeeds this. I have to just hope that somebody can live a hit from this thing and kill it. And I think Bread's the best bet because it's the only thing. He's got more HP and more defense than Chun Li right now, and Colgate's takes uh, Colgate's weak dice. So if Bread doesn't live a faint attack here, if I don't live a faint attack, then we're gonna wipe to this thing more than likely. Ah, oh, never mind. GG. I guess we didn't. I guess we didn't die to one. So he set up a sword to dance, but that should that should kill him. <sighs> I'm so mad, dude. I'm so pissed off at that. <sighs> you know what the worst part about that is? If I literally didn't. I mean, to be fair, that kind of came back to bite me in the arse. That did, because if I didn't use that cheese strat with the potions for Magnuson, I would have had two more potions for Muck, and I could have just healed until he woke up and thunder punched to finish the crowbat off. So that kind of came back to bite me. But that's still a such horrendous RNG. He had three hypnosis in a row. And I think Muck slept for like three turns. I think Porygon slept for three or four turns. And then Lapras slept for like four or five, I think. So like just fucking horrendous luck. And then had the crit on Lapras as well when I could have woke up that turn. That last turn and ice beamed it. Okay, that's cool. That's fucking great. Love that. Mm. 